One of your players just said you can predict how many tackles for losses you're gonna get within a, a tackle or two per game. Good. <laughs> explain, explain what you mean by that. I don't know. You're, That's you're, um, many, many Diaz Nostradamus, I guess. No, we we, we 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 try to hold them to a standard uh, for individuals, and you know we know we have some goals in our linebacker room of how many tackles for loss we want to get, and we're competitive, and we're looking at different guys across the country, and then and certainly as a team. Um, well, but we don't do it just to make ourselves feel good. We do it because negative plays kill drives. Negative plays create third and longs, and third and longs, you know, get the you know our offense back on the field, which is ultimately winning football. How? Why are you getting so many TFLs? Well, it starts up front. I think uh, Jess Simpson's doing a great job with our defensive linemen. And remember, it was only a month ago that we were worried about, you know, how our guys up front would handle, you know, with the, the departures that we had. Um, but you know, we're 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 attacking blocks up front. You know, our linebackers are very active, and you know, we're experienced in linebackers, so guys know how to fit their gaps. Um, and it, and you know, football. If, if they can't run the ball in a straight line, they have to run it sideways. And once they once they take the ball off the line and run it sideways, you got a chance to tackle them for a loss. And, and that's really kind of what it's all about. What does Florida State try to do to opposing defenses that maybe has you, you know, concerned or at least, you know, looking at that in particular? Well, there's two things. I mean, there's what they do schematically, but but the thing that really stands out is just their personnel. I mean, they've got excellent personnel. I mean, the quarterback is probably the best wheel have played in the last two years. Uh, great arm, you know, quick release to make any throw. Deep balls, puts it right on the money. Um, the, the emergence of Terry to the wide receiving crew. You know, we all, we know about Murray, but Terry's really become the deep threat, you know, with two deep balls in the last two games. Um, and then the backs. I mean, everybody knew going into the year that they had the best backs in the ACC, and I don't think anything's changed that. So, Akers and Patrick, they, they've got a tight end who, who um, is making a lot of plays on the field. So, they, I mean, from a fantasy football standpoint, you know, they, 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 they have guys at every, every skill position to, to make it go. Um, and then they're going to go at a fast tempo. They've got a lot of eye deception type plays. Uh, so they're, they're going to force your eyes to be in the right spot and, and to you to make the right decision every time. That said, Manny, their offensive line has had a pretty rough year uh, blocking for Francois and being able to the running game going. Is this one of those games where you lick your chops and say, we got to really be dominant up front? No. I, I, well, if you really look at the way they played against Louisville, you know, they, you know Francois was pretty clean in that game. So I think they feel like they're improving. Um, I think we have to go play Miami Hurricane football. You know, I mean, I think we, we try to, you know, take the way the things that we think are important for us to win a football game the way we have to play defense you know regardless of opponent but uh it's Miami Florida State I mean everyone's gonna play their best uh on Saturday so it's gonna be a great challenge. Manny we talked best. on on Thursday after the game that there were still as great as the defense played there were still things to clean up especially when it came to run defense QB run you know how much of a focus has that been this week considering that you've got those backs? Well it's a huge focus and what the guys understand is everybody doing their job you know, I mean, what you know, the first play, the defensive end couldn't play it any better, textbook. We don't set an edge, you know, as a secondary guy. So they run the next play, the next drive, and we set a perfect edge on the secondary, but now the defensive end who's worried about the ball going where it went last time doesn't do his job. So it's, you know, those are the things that kind of occurred. So it was just a matter of everybody kind of recognizing that it's not a physicality standpoint. You know, it's really just everybody kind of reporting to their appropriate station of duty. And, and when, we, when everyone does that, we're, we're, we're pretty hard to move the ball against. Yeah, you guys haven't won a game, UM hasn't won a game at home in this series since 2004. Um, I'm sure you let the guys know that, and what would that mean to the crowd and the whole bit, the whole rivalry? Well, I think they're aware of that, but I also, you know, in college football, a lot of times you're just talking about the uniforms playing each other, right? I mean, that's really what it is, right? Because these guys, their guys and our guys in our stadium, which to me is not the same stadium it's been since 2004. Rolling into that stadium is a different deal now than it was in 04 and 06 and whatever the other years are. So there's a lot of things that are different. So those guys that are inside those helmets with a U on them or a spear on them, they'll have a lot more to do with it other than just sort of history. That being said, we have been trying to sort of chop down all these UM hasn't done this since then uh, things, and this is another one we got to take care of. And how important more is it that you have Jaquan is. back this week? And Shaq, but Jaquan. I mean, Jaquan's our guy, you know. I mean, I mean, I mean, everybody just, just seeing him, you know, you know, just when he just takes the field, he has a presence about him that, that makes everybody else in the secondary, everybody else in the defense feel more reassured, you know, because he's our big eraser back there. If something bad does happen, you know, Jaquan's a guy that can go get it on the ground. So, um, but not just that, but just emotionally and, and you know, he, he, he's, he is the heartbeat of our defense. Everybody knows that. And, uh, you know, the guys performed admirably in his absence, but it's, we're, we're a lot better with Jaquan. Manny, you started the chain. Uh, are you surprised how it's been 
try to be replicated but can't be duplicated what other schools are doing well we didn't start the the prop business you know we weren't the first one to have a turnover prop uh, we have the best one but we weren't the first one so we can't we can't exactly poke our chest out and say you know everybody's copying us because somebody else had the idea originally now because we had the best idea we don't really spend a lot of time worrying about what other people have you never thought of a backpack I like the chain. <laughs> I mean, Sheldrick, uh, with second year now, the change that you made, the way he's, what you've seen from him, and I guess the two seasons now. So many things. I mean, just his 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 urgency. Uh, I mean, he, he he was always a tough guy. He was always a great tackler, but his urgency, the way he plays the ball in the air. I mean, you want to talk about a guy that's really changed the way he attacks the football in the air, and and, and now finishes interceptions, which he didn't always do in 2016. Um, I think the big change, you know, you know, uh, Jaquan had class during spring ball. We only had him on Saturdays, and, and in his absence, you know, Redwine really took over that elder statesman role and really became the guy in our secondary and had an amazing spring. He came back in training camp, had an amazing training camp. You know, so for all the talk about Jaquan, Jaquan, rightfully so, Redwine was playing at such a high level, you know, through the spring in August that we expected him to have a really good year, which is what he has had so far. Great. Thank you very much. Okay, Thanks, y'all have a great day. Manny.